everybody, it's your girl Khadija Khadiba. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a hair review. I did my hair about three weeks ago. I braided it. It took, y'all ready for this? Drum roll. It took a whole 12 hours total to do my hair, to put these individuals. I did it, oh, this is the first time that I've done it this small. Um, as you can see, it's pretty tiny. Uh, forgive me for not zooming in, but nonetheless, it's pretty tiny. And I was interrupted so many times, like my phone calls, but nonetheless, all in all, it took around 12 hours to do. It took a whole long time. I did it by myself. This was my first time braiding my hair, my own hair, individuals, was last summer. And those were pretty large, not huge, but large, way larger than this. Um, so I braided my hair, this may be the fourth or fifth time, but this is the smallest that I've ever done thus far. Um, let me tell you guys, my hands were on fire. My fingers like throughout the night was just like, yo, what did you just do to us? Like for real though, you acting like you don't use your fingers at, the, at your job typing on that computer. So I had to, you know, kind of get myself together nonetheless so today i'm going to do a review on the hair that you see that's in my hair again this is the third week of my install um now i think i i did film the packs of hair or the pack of hair um I, so i'll insert a clip of what it looks like Um, so here we go. This is what I had left. So as you can see, I hope, hopefully you can see, it says Q, uh, pre-stretch braid. This is 18 inches and this is in color one, which is jet black. Three bundles had came. I used probably a total of six or seven, six or seven bundles. And this is a bundle. I used six or seven of these. As you can see, two are missing, two are gone because I used those. Um, it's very silky, guys. This hair is like super, super duper silky. I love jet black hair too. So that's why I wanted the jet black hair. Um, it is pre-stretched, so you didn't have to worry about those blunt ends. So the hair comes, I'm so glad that they decided to do that couple. I think it's been a while that they've been doing this, so this is just great. Um, they had actually 24 inches and maybe even 26 or 28, but I didn't want it that long. Um, this is how long the 18 inch is. So it also is, hold on, oh, here we go. So the back says 100% Kanekalon, pre-cut, pre-feathered, pre-stretched, and pre-layered. Easy to manage, perfect for blending, soft and easy to brush, and it's like, guys, this is just great. Um, hot water set. Now that is, you can dip it in hot water and it'll curl up as you can see. Oh, I took off my earring. But as you can see, I have some curls. Um, they're still retaining. Natural blown out texture, no tangling and hair loss. Save up to two hours, no prep needed. Okay, then there's a whole bunch of instructions. But overall, my like hair's again, it's so soft guys. It's super duper soft. So, as far as the review, the pros, I love the texture, the softness. Like I said, it's very silky smooth. Love it. Um, I have some, I have a paper here. The hair is really thick, so you don't have to worry about it being super thin and like a weird texture thing. It's really thick, so I do like that. I like that aspect. Um, and. The curl, for the most part, retained the braid, rather, or the hair, retained its curl. So once I finished my entire head, I made big braids out of a bunch. Like, I took a bunch, maybe like this amount, and then braided this up. I did it all around my head. 
and obviously I took some hot water and I dipped it in my little bowl that I have for my hair specifically and it curled up very nicely now I can do it again because it's probably time to, to do that again um, and it really did look super duper nice again I'm three weeks in I do like the hair the cons I would say the hair was kind of heavy so like once I finished my hair and you know I set it with the hot water um, and tried to put it in a bun it was like really it was so thick that's that's the only the thickness was good and then there was another side to it the thickness made it really heavy so when I went because I like buns at the top like just a nice little tight bun you know, I'm telling y'all I was like a bobblehead I was like okay this is not gonna work and it was hard to gather into one ponytail um so that was a problem that I did not like um yeah so the two cons was that it's heavy and it was hard to it's kind of hard to gather into one ponytail because once you do that it's super heavy and like bobblehead and like bobble like bobble like bobble like so <laughs> but as you can see it's a lot of hair guys a lot of hair um yeah now I do not wear it out a lot of styles that I do I either kind of like go like this and put like a ponytail here obviously slip down my edges I probably didn't put any um edge control on right now or maybe I did I don't remember nonetheless as long as you have your edge control you know slick it back whatever I do like side ponytails or back ponytails I have not done the top because like I said I don't have time to be falling down the stairs just because I look down and then I just you know I don't have time to do all that so um overall would I get the hair again I think I would I may do it one more time we'll see but that's all I have for you guys and um, again I'll put the information or check the description box for the information for this particular hair and like I said I can see myself definitely um braiding the big braids all over and re-dipping it into the hot water to kind of retain that curl that I seem to have I didn't lose it badly though I mean I like it. it's kind of crinkly and I did, as you can see I didn't braid it all the way down like I'm not about to do that so but if you have any questions about the hair um let me know and I'll answer your questions thank you don't forget to like share and subscribe I will be back